Hello, and welcome to episode 64 of Influence and Growth Mastery Podcast. I'm your host, Tanya Gossage, and today we're going to be exploring a topic that has potential to transform your life and your relationships. What is possible when you spend more time in your circle of influence? I love this topic because I love to spend a lot of time in my circle of influence, especially over the circle of concern. And before we dive into this topic, let's quickly define what the circle of influence is because there may be some people in the audience today who is not familiar with the circle of influence or the circle of concern. You know, this concept was created by Stephen Covey, and it consists of people and things that are in our life over which we have direct impact or control. It is, however, the opposite of the circle of control, which includes all of the things, all of the things that we worry about but have little or no control over. So why is this distinction important? When we focus on our circle of influence, we truly empower ourselves to make a real difference in our lives and the lives of others. And I know for me, I really want to impact the lives of others. I've said this many, many, many times before. I am on a mission to impact the lives of others in many ways. That's my mission. That's my passion. And so we empower um, ourselves to make a real difference in our lives and in the lives of others when we're in that circle of influence. And that's what we're going to be discussing today. So let's dive into the incredible opportunities that open up when we do spend more time in that circle of influence. So we have the opportunity to build deeper relationships. And, you know, I've called myself a master connector because I love building relationships. And when you invest your time and energy into people within that circle of influence, you naturally build stronger and more meaningful connections. And you're going to find that your relationships, they become so much um richer and you're able to offer and receive support from people um, easier. I'll, I'll just say it like that. I mean, people are so ready to support you, guide you, be willing to help you when, when um, you live in that circle of influence. And then you also, you also um, strengthen your personal brand by focusing on your circle of influence. You can create a reputation to become the go-to person in your industry. Um, someone who consistently delivers results as a trusted resource This, in turn, is going to help you attract more opportunities for growth and success. And then on from there, it's going to help you develop new skills and knowledge. So when you work within your circle of influence, you're going to discover opportunities to learn from others as well as share your expertise This mutually beneficial exchange will lead to continuous growth and development, both for you personally and professionally. And I always like to say, when something leads to your growth, both personally and professionally, it's also going to lead to growth financially. And then it also expands your influence. 
And as you nurture relationships and grow your skills within your circle of influence, you're going to find that your influence naturally just expands. Your reputation will precede you. People are going to seek out your guidance. They're going to seek out you for your opinions and your insights. When you live in that circle of influence, you cannot keep this from happening. It's just going to be natural that people look at you as an influencer. It's also going to increase your self-confidence. Again, as, as you live in that circle, because people look at you at this master connector or networker or someone that always has information that they need, it can't help but increase the confidence that you have. You're focusing on the areas in that influence, in that circle of where you can make a difference. And, and again, it can't help but increase your self-confidence. You're going to see the impact of, um, of your actions and realize the potential that you have. And you're going to be inspired to take on new challenges and strive for even greater accomplishments. You know, I have to tell you, I think that that sometimes where I get into problems is because I I get calls all the time of because of my networking and because of me sending people um, to other businesses, they want to partner with me. They're willing to pay me for sending them business. And sometimes, because I know I'm good at that, I have a problem saying no and taking on too many of those. And so my coach today is like, you're doing too much. You can't do this for everybody. And I realize I can't. But I love doing it because I know I'm good at it. Excuse me. I'm good at connecting people. So, and because I'm on a mission and it's my passion to help people, I love doing that. It's a challenge to me. It helps me strive towards greater accomplishments. And so that always boosts my confidence because... The more that I do it, I apologize if you guys can hear the storm. It is so black here. It's scary, especially since we just had that tornado a week or even two ago. Um, and my dog, I've put him in his kennel and he is going nuts. Um, but it, um, new challenges for me gives me more and more confidence to want to do more. And so, it also, when you, when you live in that circle and you help people, it can't help but inspire others. So when you constantly are demonstrating the, the power of focusing on that circle of influence, you inspire people that, that live around you or that are watching you to want to do the very same thing. And so this can lead to a ripple effect. So people who that are wanting to model, mimic, and master what you do, then that's how that ripple effect takes place. And so with more people choosing to focus on what they can control, um, it creates positive change in people. And so, you know, to... To wrap up spending more time in your circle of influence, it can lead to deeper, much deeper relationships personally uh, for your personal and your professional growth. And an expanded influence, again, it increases that self-confidence. It gives you the ability to inspire others. People want to know how you do it. 
I spend time with people teaching them how to, how to do that. I do think there's an art to it, but I also think you have to have a love for people. You have to have a passion to want to help people. And so remember that the choice to focus on your circle of influence, it's yours to make. You have to want to focus there. And so you, I want you to embrace this mindset and, and see that there are incredible possibilities that can open up for you and for those around you if you truly focus on that circle of influence. There is a world, a world of business inside that circle of influence, and there's a world of business on the outside of that circle of influence. I'm telling you, it takes one meeting one person, just one, that can change your personal life. Meeting just one can change your professional life. Meeting just one can change the trajectory, if I can say that, of your financial life. Just one. So I really wish that you could grasp the power of the circle of your influence. It's massive. It's so massive. I could spend hours talking about the circle of influence versus the circle of concern. Don't worry about what you cannot control. Only worry about what you can control and what you can influence. So thank you for joining me today on this episode of Influence and Growth Mastery. I love having conversations with you all. I love it. I hope you found today's discussion very valuable. I hope you at least got one tip, one strategy from um, the episode today and that it inspires you to invest more time and energy into yourself, into your circle of influence. And remember that the key to lasting growth and influence is to focus on what you can control and let go, totally let go of what you can't control. I will see you again soon on another episode of Influence and Growth Mastery. Goodbye, and I love you so much. I love you so much. <laughs>